you know, just because the current law and current regulations and current enforcement aren't, you know, are, are not affecting you right now, and also you have to register your bicycle as a vehicle and show proof of insurance, like you're registered as a scooter or a motorcycle, and they're talking about it on the video, like, oh, yeah, this bike goes 30, 32, yeah, 32 max speed, throttle only, you know, I mean, and don't don't make videos, don't ruin it, don't ruin it for everybody by making those type of videos. All right, everyone, welcome back. Gonna do the full round. So I came out that way. I'm gonna go make a left here. Oh, I feel relaxed. I feel rejuvenated. There's nothing like. Uh, well, there's nothing like being relaxed. What can I say? That's all I can say, I guess. Uh, it was overcast mostly. It didn't feel too hot. It's really uh, not very humid, although there's a uh, forecast for rain tomorrow. So, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Uh, oh, is there a turkey vulture? Or a duck? There's a duck crossing the road. Hello, duck. Hello. Like a little mohawk duck. Anyways, I forgot to. Uh, I heard somebody's fishing out there. Anyways, I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to put on my power beef, turn on the music. So I'm gonna stop right at that corner right there and turn on some music because I want some music. I already. I've been listening to some music at the pool. So uh, while I'm riding home, while I'm riding home, I want to listen to some music. So, Ugh. I want to listen to some music here. All right, let me put my foot on the curb. Gosh, I was like, man, it's kind of quiet. Why is it so quiet? Gotta listen to my my music here. All right, here we go. All right. I want to listen to some moo sack. Okay, I'm wait for this car to pass. All right. Now I'm gonna go. All right, got some music. Of course, you can't hear it, but I'm listening to it. All right. I'm going to go. All right. too windy right here. Oh, never mind. Oh, look at all those new homes. So today, a relaxed day, just take the bike out, go to the pool. I didn't go to the clubhouse, so, so I did have my nutritional drink. I drink that, started getting a little hungry, that's when I usually drink my nutritional drink. And uh, that's my little energy boost. It's about uh, a little bit, maybe, maybe 300 calories, that's what it gives me. So we got a little energy boost. So getting some cardio here on the bike, work out the legs, taking my upper body a rest. Anyways, I'm going to be cutting the grass today, so I'll be doing some workout. Holding up that weed whack with my right arm gives me a good workout for some reason. All right. So by the time you're watching this, hopefully you uh, 
you order an electric bicycle, I hope. Or you're still waiting for your electric bicycle. There's some new bikes coming out. Everybody's waiting for the Grizzly Aerial Rider. I've been looking at that. It's interesting, but I wouldn't buy it. The all-wheel drive, too gimmicky. Too gimmicky. Any moto bike or super 70, 73 stylish bike, I wouldn't fall for that. Especially at a, a supply shortage. You know, everyone's in a supply shortage, so getting your bike such a unique frame, anything that's unusual or custom made for that year, I'm a little wary of uh, trying to buy. Anyway, I got three bikes of my own. The one I have works great, so why would I need to buy another bike? Anyways, I'm a little worried about what I'm seeing, at least on YouTube, you know. All these uh, electric bikes coming out that go over or at least 30 miles an hour on throttle only. I'm a little worried because that could ruin the fun for me of all that I have. Although I think it won't affect it that much. Right turn, right turn signal. Although I don't think what I, it may not affect me. It may, I just don't want it to, I don't want it to ruin the good thing that I have. And the good thing that I have is I can ride my bike, my electric bike, just about anywhere around here. And that's what I like to, that's what I like about it. I really hate for, you know, a group of people in major cities, LA, New York, San Francisco, riding around on their electric, whatever, scooters, bikes, or a motorcycle or a moped disguised as bikes and all of a sudden you know they start pissing a lot of people off like uh, like those rental scooters those birds and whatever else it's like people hate electric scooters I think it's a good idea you know you have electric scooters you can rent it but people abusing it and taking advantage of the of uh, uh, the lack of enforcement, um, you know, ruined it. And matter of fact, in Houston, in Houston, the city of Houston, they banned electric scooters on sidewalks. So, you know, as I see more and more of these videos of these, they're, they're kind of like group rides, but you know, when you, when I think, I think for people who are not into the electric bikes, electric scooters, or electric moto bikes, whatever you want to call it. For people who aren't into that, I think they're seeing this as a nuisance because oftentimes when you're in your group ride, they, they pass through red lights, they try to stay as a group, you know, they often just take up space in sidewalks and areas where they're more for, they're for pedestrians to walk by they just kind of take up that space you know and uh you know eventually when there's when the cars are going to come back on the roads uh they're i don't know how often they're going to do those group rides but uh they're going to piss they're going to piss people off if they're not going to piss the pedestrians off they're going to piss the motorists off because they're just holding up traffic or weaving through traffic in an unsafe way and uh, I think eventually regulation or enforcement is going to finally catch up on these electric bikes that you bought that go over 35 or 30 miles an hour or goes over 28 miles an hour on throttle only I think it's going to change the industry where now uh, manufacturers are going to be forced to uh, when they sell you the bike they're gonna be forced to lock in the regulated speed so you can't even change it, okay? And if you do upgrade it, if you get caught, you're going to, uh, if you get caught, you're gonna to have to be fined and then register your quote unquote electric bicycle or electric scooter 
that just happens to go over 28 miles an hour or close to 30 and show register it right as a as an actual vehicle and show proof of insurance and I think it's going to go that way to the point where now if the manufacturers start building bicycles that exceed a certain mileage whether it has pedals or not just because you put pedals on a, if I put a pedal on a car does that mean it's a bicycle <laughs> no you know so uh, <laughs> you know people aren't dumb just because you put a pedal on it it doesn't make it a bicycle by itself so uh, you know I think regulation and enforcement is gonna eventually catch up as more and more people start using these electric bicycles in in a manner that wasn't originally designed for uh, pretty soon manufacturers are gonna have to uh, require you to register your your electric bicycle that's basically an electric motorcycle or an electric scooter and show proof of insurance before they can even sell it to you or deliver it to you that's what I think is going to happen and, and again the more I see more you know a couple years ago I would never see YouTube videos where there would be so many people going over the uh, the speed limit of 28 miles an hour. There used to be the, the limit, the limit was 28 miles an hour at most, and that was pedaling. Now people are just throttling, going over 28 miles an hour, and they're talking about it on their video, like, oh yeah, this bike goes 30, 32, yeah, 32 max speed, throttle only. You know, I mean, and don't, don't make videos, don't ruin it, don't ruin it for everybody by making those type of videos, all right? And manufacturers, I would, I would be very careful because everything may seem legal. Everything may seem legal. Everything may seem legal, right? Everything may seem legal now, but that can change in a heartbeat. I've been through many disruptive technologies, or I've seen many, I've been a part of many disruptive technologies and also seen many disruptive technologies go through legal changes that affected their business model. So uh, just be wary, if you, if you're, as a consumer, if you're buying these bikes, you could be stuck with a lemon. Because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, oh, well, if the law changes and I have to register my bike, I'll just sell my bike and get my money back. Well, when it, when it happens, it's, you won't, unless you're smart enough, but when it happens, you probably won't see it coming. Because, you know, it's not like... Uh, anyways, you, you, you might, as a consumer, you might not see it coming. And the next thing you know, when you ride your bike, you'll be given a ticket, probably a warning in the beginning, or maybe fine. And also, you have to register your bicycle as a vehicle and show proof of insurance. Like, you're registered as a scooter or a motorcycle. It's not going to be good. And anyways, if you, if you say, well, I'll just sell my bicycle. Well, when that happens, when that happens, everybody's going to sell their bicycle too. So the, so you, you pay like $3,000, $2,000, whatever for your uh, electric quote-unquote bicycle. Now you think, well, I'll just sell it, get my money back, and I'll be done. And nope, you may not be able to sell it or not get the money that you thought you were going to get because everybody else is going to do the same thing. Everybody else is going to do the same exact thing. They're going to try to sell their electric motorcycles or electric scooters. You know, just because the current law and current regulations and current enforcement aren't, you know, are, are not affecting you right now doesn't mean in the future that could change because I've, I've seen many disruptive technologies many disruptive technologies you know change over the laws regarding those disruptive technologies change over time to the point that now you know, now the law regulation and the regulators and the enforcement has caught up to the industry so good luck good luck to everybody i would i would personally that's my opinion I, I would stay away from those kind of bikes that go over a certain speed limit 
especially if you see a lot of videos where they talk about throttle only speeds and they're showing you how fast they go stay away from those I, I would stay away from those bikes or uh, at least don't ride it in public uh, you know ride it off-road as it was intended because I think uh, I think as as more and more people start as, as electric bikes become more prominent I, you're gonna catch the eye of regulators people are gonna complain trust me look at the bird scooters the little rental scooters people complain about that and they're being banned off the sidewalks and uh, you get enough people complaining all of a sudden regulation will catch up enforcement will catch up and you'll be stuck with a bicycle that you have to register and get insurance for which defeats the purpose of it or <laughs> you're stuck trying to sell a bike that everybody else is also trying to sell there's a guy in front of me here i'm gonna wait for him anyway i talked long enough i'm gonna i'm gonna probably time lapse this real soon he's on a normal bike all right i'll be uh time lapsing here soon enough here i'm just gonna follow the guy i don't want to scare him seems like an older gentleman i'm gonna probably catch up to him at the light or at the stop sign I pass him. All right. So let's get going. All right. All right. Are you, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! <laughs> 